Hi guys, happy Tuesday, and welcome back to the Life Kauai. Today I have another humongous box that has more boots in it. So, boot box. So as you guys might remember, I had another boot box this big that only had one pair in it. So I have high hopes that this one will have at least two pairs of boots in it. So let's see. Big Galunkin box. Okay. This one is much heavier than the previous box, so I am really hoping that it has at least two pairs of boots in it. Ah! Wait. We're in luck. Three pairs. Three pairs of boots. This is the boot haul that I was originally hoping for. Okay. First pair of boots. Oh yes, okay, so I wanted some rain boots. I've been on the hunt for a nice pair of rain boots. And these actually have wedges built into them, so I thought that they were awesome. So I hope that these fit. Very cool wedge in the back. I thought they'd be um, heavier, so I'm actually relieved that they're not quite as heavy as I thought they were going to be. They're still, they're still a little heavy. They have significant weight, but very doable. Oh, I hope I can get these over my calf. Please fit over my large calf. Set those to the side. I think that was the most expensive pair that I ordered, but I also thought that they were the most unique. So I didn't mind paying a little bit more money for those. Okay, next box. Mm -hmm. These feel like a faux suede. Wow, these are very packaged. Take a look at this. Okay, hold on a second. Give me a moment to unpackage all of this. Okay, looks like this one goes up here. Okay, so they're like a faux suede, two inch heel, stretchy over the knee boot. Okay, I will admit I don't have high hopes for these. They look very small up here. I feel like my leg is at least twice that size. I guess we'll find out. Whenever I do the boot try on, you guys can see what everything looks like, and whether or not it's amazing or disastrous. When it comes to my calves and boots, everything could go either way. Last box. Very pretty kawaii pink box. Oh, yes. Okay. So these are my hopefully walking every day to work boots. So zips in the back and it has this stretch panel in back so I thought it might be a bit more forgiving for my legs. And then I liked that even though it was a, a flat very tiny heel, I feel like the point toe makes it look uh, slightly more elegant. So I'm hoping to wear these with leggings this year. So let me go try all these things on and you guys can see what all the boots look like and we'll either have a really good time with how beautiful they are or we'll have a really good laugh at how bad they look it's going to be one or the other okay let's do this
these boots. My actual favorite pair in the whole haul, even including the video I did before, is these. So these were the first ones that I modeled, and they are awesome. They fit me perfectly, and I'm really surprised because looking at, at this, uh, the shaft up here, I really thought that they were not going to fit on my leg at all, and they were just perfect. So I'm keeping these for sure, and I think I'm going to wear those a lot this year. These were, they fit really well through here, but then of course when I got into the calf, I, I didn't model them for you guys because I couldn't even get them on. So unfortunately, I will have to send them back in. I was really hoping that these could be my everyday walking boot, so I'm very sad that I will have to send those back. The, um, the fabric will stretch just a little bit, but the zipper in the back is very unforgiving. So this section will not stretch at all. If you have small calves and you need a boot that will fit small calves that feels really good and is made of high quality material, I would suggest that you take a look at these, but if you're like me and you have a larger calf, it's not going to work for you. So, no on those. And the rain boots, which I still have on, I love them so much. However, I'm sending them back, and I'm sending them back only for one reason, and that's because right now they fit me perfectly, but I'm wearing a skirt. So, I know in the winter, whenever I'm going to need to be wearing these, I'm going to have on thick wool pants or leggings or something. There are very few women in New York in December and January who will just walk around in a skirt with just a thin pair of tights. It's, it's not going to happen. So I need a boot that I can fit clothing into as well. And these fit perfectly right now, but I know the second I put on a pant, they're not going to fit anymore. So if you have small calves and you want a fashionable weather boot, I would totally recommend these. I think they're the only cool rain boot I have ever found in my entire life. So I am so sad that I have to send those back. I think I'm going to look uh, for this company, Sorel. I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm going to look online and see if they have another kind of boot with maybe different sizes in the shaft because I really, really do want them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, boot haul. And if you want to see more kawaii things and great shopping hauls and lots of sewing things, please subscribe and I will see you next time here at the Life Kawaii. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.